Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Acadia Center here at Calgary, beautiful Calgary, Alberta. It's gorgeous outside. Did you get outside today? I hope you did. This is Mac the Mouth here from Vancouver along with... Hi there, this is Devil's Reject. Joining us from... Oh, I am from Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas, we got Vancouver. From the United States. <laughs> And Mostly united. Sometimes we're divided, yeah. but, you know, we do what we can. It's, it's a daily thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just check Twitter. But what we've got in front of us is outstanding. It is Chile versus Italy. And if it's anything like the Belgium and uh, uh, Puerto Rico game I just saw. I, I, I'm really looking forward to these newer teams, these unseated teams coming in. This is going to be a blast. Wasn't that fantastic? Yeah, Puerto Rico showed up big time and really was ready to play some roller derby. So we got lucky for that. We are just about ready to go. I think the five second whistle is about to be blown. Who do we have on the jam line, Mac? Oh. <laughs> We're in red during 77. That is men, uh, men, Men Felipe and Flyboy for Italy. Sorry, Flyboy wasting no time headed to the penalty box trying to check out those seats with a back block call. Italy off to a start, a lot, giving a power jam up here to our friends from Chile. The Chile jammer coming in. Oh, just clipped on the hip. He's got to dial back to the back of that pack and re-enter. Nice and slow in the corners. We're sitting in now. Another penalty to a jammer. You've got a blocking with the head call. Man Felipe. Everyone start texting me now that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Go ahead. In the box. And that releases our jammer Flyboy, wearing 16 in blue for Italy. Chile there holding down the front of the pack, trying to slow down their opponent, Flyboy, as he comes out of the penalty box. Picking up a little bit of speed out there on the track. Flyboy trying to take it right up the middle. Nice sweep there by his teammate, the physio terrorist. Giving us a run for our money with that derby name. There again, Flyboy, one skater left to beat. He's forced to the infield. Careful not to get a track cut. He's going to recycle. Buying Chile a little bit of time to come out of the penalty box. That is Man Felipe. Man, they're straight up the middle. Both jammers commanding the front of the pack. Man Calipe there in front with a four point pass. Drawing first blood on the scoreboard for Chile. And that is Chile in red, by the way, and uh, Italy in blue. Oh, a cut call, several penalties. Quite a few penalties in that first jam. I think we just need to get something out of our system. Right? <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit to warm up. As you said, the weather is beautiful. We may have gotten a little rested outside. We're yeah. going to get our muscles warmed up. We'll be right back to it. After that first jam, we've got a score of 9-3. to three. Chile with the lead. Three points as they field Cyborg up against Grosso for Team Italy. Whistle started the jam, but the, they're going to do a little side dance first and both engaging the packs now. Both jammers out of the pack, but with lead, it's Italy. And that's Grasso. Few blockers headed to the penalty box there. One for each team. That's going to put two blockers in the penalty box for oh. Team Italy. Great job by Grasso to keep his toe stops literally on the table. He's calling off the jam without falling back into the track or falling off the track. Grabbing those points for Italy. Nine for Chile in red, six for Italy in blue. A few minutes into this 30 minute game and already I'm feeling equally matched teams and a lot of penalties. I cannot <laughs> disagree with it. So far, so good. Italy there in a little bit of trouble, only fielding two blockers. Oh, as is Chile. Full penalty box over there on the side of the track. Through the pack first, that is number 10, Rostin Rollo for Team Italy, your lead jammer. Rostarola already around for a scoring pass as the uh, jammer in red, number seven, Aquiles. Aquiles? Pardon my Canadian accent. Makes his way out of the pack. 
Another blocker heads over. That's Fasta Furio for Italy with a back block penalty. Achilles there taking a spiel on the outside line. He is forced down. That's going to delay a little bit and buy Ross and Roller some time to try to make it through the pack. Just as soon as I say it, Ross and Roller forced on the outside as well by Team Chile. He is going to be recycled as well. Michael Kalala at the back of the pack here, 56 in blue, is doing a great job one on one holding off this Chilean jammer. Through the pack there on a five point grand slam is Ross and Roller for Team Italy. Pack's ground rate down and coming out of turn two into the far straightaway. Opposite of our location here. Jam ends with a five, six points for Italy. Taking, taking the lead actually uh, during that jam. So now it's 12 9 Italy and Chile. Fans, we're letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop Team of the Tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check our Facebook page during Saturday's play to vote for your favorite, Quad Skate Shop. Now on the jam line, we've got Rocca for Team Chile. And Grasso again for Team Italy. Rocca able to make it through first for lead jammer status, Team Chile. Ball closely behind though, nipping at his heels is Rosso. Packs picking up a bit of the pace there as they come around turn four. Things settled in a little bit more on that jam, and no players in the penalty box. You get the nerves out, you get the penalties out, start settling into the playing style and the groove. Chile's had three zero jams. After that nine point start, they have, have yet to put a point up for the three subsequent jams, where Italy has put points on every jam and now up 14 to nine. That's right, Italy chipping away a couple points at a time on each pass. Italy now fielding Flyboy up against Cyborg for Team Chile. Both teams full strength out there on the track. Flyboy trying to take it straight up the middle. One skater left to beat. He is able to make it through for the jammer status. Team Italy. A cut penalty on the Chilean Jammers Cyborg. That's going to give us a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. As Cyborg heads to the box, that 30 seconds is not starting until he sits and just now. So it's a good solid 30 with the Jammer in scoring position that puts Italy in a good opportunity here to attack onto that lead. Good defense out there on the track by Team Chile. However, trying to slow down Flyboy, buying their Jammer some time to get out of that penalty box. Smart move by the jammer there. It caught that, that jammer that knocked him out. Got a no pass, no call on that. Because they both stepped out together, so he was able to re-enter legally without risking a cut. It's very good, Mac. You know, I've noticed a lot since we've been here today, a lot of really good track awareness. Careful not to get those track cuts, if at all possible. Yeah, much, much higher level of track awareness. Absolutely. We One do of my have. favorite skills <laughs> in a skater. <laughs> we do have a penalty on Fast and Furio, though, for a Direction of gameplay call. Excuse me, I forgot what the hand signal. Uh, Pet the kitty. Is somebody's just trying to home. put out a fire over here on the right. <laughs> it's warm in here. That's what it is. 17 to 9, Italy leads uh, almost 10 minutes in. Italy's also taken lead the last four jams consecutively, which is showing in the lead, but they're not able to tack those points on, which means both jammers are getting out and forcing these short jams. So I think we got a lot of parity in these teams actually from a strategy and skill set. You're absolutely right. That is Grosso there back again on the jam line against Juan Calipe for Team Chile. Both jammers vying for lead jammer status on the track. Grosso forced to the inside, having to recycle behind all of those skaters all the way back behind the jam line. And Felipe taking a hit there on the outside line, but he's able to make it through and pick up lead jammer status. Yeah, took a solid, solid hit, bounced his head back, and then got up and ran around that outside line to get lead.
First lead for Chile in four jams. Skates into the pack, calls it off. Picked up two, it looks like. First points for uh, Chile in about five jams now. So far I'm only seeing one point. Uh, one. I believe that will be one. However, every point counts. Yes. That will put Chile at 10. Italy at 19, not a bad point difference nope. here. No, I'm, I'm, again, I penalties at the, the scrambly penalty start. Now that it's kind of settling in a bit, I think it's going to stay close like this. Both jammers getting out means nice, close, quick jams. Lots of action for everybody to watch. We have Mechanico now on the line for Team Chile up against Roston Roller for Team Italy. Incredibly tight pack, bit of a scrum start there, barely passing the pivot line. 15 seconds into the jam. Mechanico penalty. now to the penalty box. What is that called, Matt? That's blocking with the head. That's putting your head down and shoving, using it to impact another skater. And then when you get in those tight scrum packs, that's when a lot of times jammers will slip their heads down a little lower than they should and start pushing. And once the referee deems that that's uh, changing the position on the, the defensive skater, you're risking that penalty. Well, Absolutely. Um, safety is the name of the game, of course. Now speaking of safety, it uh, looks like uh, number six, uh, the back jammer for Chile. 66 and saying had to stop and pick up his mouth guard, put it back in, and then return to play. Oh, and got a forearm penalty. And then receive a forearm <laughs> Should have taken an extra beat with that uh, mouth guard. <laughs> Can it go now back on the track, taking the inside line, speeding past the pack. Italy puts up five points. That is Ross and Rolla. Can it go on his initial pass after that penalty? Now Ross and Rolla is watching his bench, waiting for the indication when to call it off. Using time to their advantage. Interesting thing I've noticed this, uh, with these 30 minute games is both teams only have one timeout, a one one minute timeout each, and there are no official reviews. But the one minute timeout, the clock keeps running. So it can be very strategic at the right time in a game to burn a minute when the other team needs that minute, because that could be a jam, two jams. So Absolutely, which is what we saw in the last game with yeah. Puerto Rico versus Belgium. I mean, it came down to that very last, last jam. It made all the difference. Grosso now taking the line for Italy up against Rocca for Team Chile. Chile in a little bit of trouble, working with a micro pack on the track. Two skaters, one skater exiting the track for a penalty call. And lead jammer status goes to Grosso and Italy. Penalty there, we're just waiting for the indication. Oh, it's a low block. A low block penalty on Rocca. Captain Vasarita is followed right behind. And out front by himself in blue wearing zero is Grasso. Finally gets around the pack, gets lead with lead, picks up five points. And Chile working with a three pack and no jammers, doing a good job so far of burning that 30 seconds. So taking the inside line, one skater left to beat, that is Mamiero. He makes it pass for a five-point Grand Slam Team Italy. Grosso now working on a 10-point jam on that scoreboard. He does have lead. Rocka back out of the penalty box. Grasso doesn't look the fleetest of foot or the most dazzling footwork, but he grinds his way through those packs and comes out the other side with points every time. Able to pick up four points on that pass just as Rocca gets a high block call that will put him back in the penalty box. As that jam comes to its conclusion, Italy coming back on a power start. Yeah, if I was chilly, if I was being the coach, I would probably call a timeout right now. Nice 17 point jam there for Carrasso, putting Italy's lead 41 over 10. Yeah. 16 minutes and 24 seconds remaining. Chile's already given up four power jams to Italy's one, and there have been no scoreless Italian jams so far at the halfway mark in this game. Status there going to Italy. That's Flyboy number 16. Just approaching the pack in the back straightaway. 
as it rolls towards turn three. Looking for some offense, gets a nice pick. Makes his way around the other side. No, he's knocked out. He has to return. Cycled all the way back. All the way back to turn two. Try it again. Meanwhile, Chile's returning blockers and skaters onto the track, including their jammer. That's right, Mr. Soccer. I'm keeping Flyboy stuck there far beyond the pack with that nice bridge from Chile. And a track cut call is going to send him to the penalty box. Making this power jam now for Raka and Chile now that Raka's out of the penalty box. <laughs> Let's keep them both out of them. Oh, no, Raka's going back to the penalty box. Oh. Rock has had three in this jam, or three penalties, three majors, uh, penalties. And remember, you're, you're only allowed five, um, considering this is only 30 minutes of gameplay, so Rock may be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of penalties being called in a short period of time. Some of these skaters could be sitting on three or four. And a forearm penalty. So, forearm assessed a flyboy now, revolving jammer rotation in the penalty box. That's a lot of penalties for the same two jammers, especially if the teams are lining them on their bench. And we'll see as this jams progress who they put out. This might be a really quick game, Mac, if everyone <laughs> fouls out. We can just pack <laughs> up and go home. <laughs> And a forearm called on the Chilean jammer, I believe. We had a total of five jammer penalties, six jammer penalties in the last two jams. As I was saying, the pre before this jam started, I would have called a timeout. Correct. <laughs> yeah, and it, timeout, timeout Chile. So let's go to a commercial. I miss Rita, just punch me. Other than the first jam. All right, after that quick commercial break, we're going to come back to it. I'm, I'm not sure where Rocco is exactly, but by my calculation, he, he may have four, if not five, penalties. So we'll see if he exits the track at all. We'll check in our numbers. He may be sitting on three. And if he was, I think he was in that five spot, they would have shifted him to the uh, wait here. Wait here, Jammer. <laughs> Roller Derby Elite, the brand that defines sport. Just thought I'd say that out loud because it. Sounds so nice. And we love Roller Derby League. One of our favorite sponsors here. Interesting start on the Nerd uh, Jam Line, as there are no jammers. And here comes a jammer, who just took a cup and went right back to the penalty box on a great play <laughs> by Captain Basaritas. Ran back on that jammer and caught him. And I believe that it might be Flyboy's fourth. Yeah, makes sense, Chile, to mix it up a bit. Get out of that penalty swirl. Another penalty, a track cut on Flyboy. I'm just gonna keep an eye on the box reject to see if that's five, I believe it is. Italy's gonna hold down the front of the track. Marmota approaching the pack. Takes a little hop to the inside line. He makes it through. So here's one of the Here's a unicorn jam. This is a two minute jam now with no jam. Or from the point that Flyboy left, there can be no uh, jammer out there for Italy because he's fouled out. So this is Chile's opportunity to, to put some points on the board and catch up. And really for me, putting on my coaching hat, I want Chile paying full out offense and scrambling this wall and keeping them busy and just getting on everything in a blue shirt. Because this is time to collect points. There's no, no jammer returning to this track for 30 seconds. Shake it up, rattle things up a little bit out there on the track. 
another Chilean skater headed to the penalty box. That is oh. Cyborg for a <laughs> direction of gameplay call. And another direction of gameplay call on Team Chile. That is 316 Capitan Basaritas. And we have an attempted star pass as the jam comes to what I believe was its natural conclusion. Team Chile picking up three points. Able to put some points up for the first time in about the past five jams, which is good. Not sure I can say that they really capitalized on that, that special jam that we had with the jammer fouling out. Score still stands 44 for Team Italy against 13 for Team Chile. Yeah, I mean, in eight or nine jams, Italy's managed to put up about four, looks like four points to the uh, points that uh, Italy continues to add to. As long as they can keep their jammers out of the box. And unfortunately, Flyboy fouled out. But Chile's out with lead. And that's insane. I think the first time we've seen insane jamming today. So they've mixed up their jammer rotation. Insane now calling off the jam. We've got Mr. Revel losing a helmet. All kinds of things happening out here on the track. But insane just grabbed three points and it's taken jam half a dozen jams for Chile to get there. I would just put insane back out. Give him a rest, get him back out there. Good for Chile. They're chipping away here. They got still got, there's still time to pull back. Grasso and Mecanico. Mecanico in red, skating for Chile. Grasso in blue for Italy, wearing zero. Both jammers now pushing their way over that nerd jam line into the packs. Goofy, and Goofy's getting an additional, uh, getting a signal from our, our head and his own on the floor that there's going to be an additional 30 seconds, probably for insubordination for not reporting right away. Okay. A lot of things happening there on the track. <laughs> I hope you all at home are able to keep up. Team Italy picked up four points. On that pass, a lot of people went to the penalty box. It's, yeah, it's the penalty parade is keeping us keeping us busy and entertained. Um, because within the shot you're watching here, we're also having a parade of skaters go by and trying to keep track of those calls and penalties and see, you know, it might just be attrition levels of who has the longest bench in the last three minutes. Right, we're working at a three-on-three -three rotation, basically maintaining on the pack so far in the last few minutes of the game. Team Chile able to pick up lead jammer position. That is Mancalipe. And suddenly Chile's picked up four leads in a row when they didn't when they went on a dry spell here. They just gotta nail those points. They've got their penalty box points. Oh, big, big hit. Skated right into that hit. Looked like a physioterrorist delivering a huge blow in that corner there. Skater still flying by to the penalty box. But Italy again picking up points. Oh, when they didn't when they went on a dry spell here. They just got to nail those gym. points. They got their penalty points. There's a big hit there. Oh, nice big, big hit. By hit. Skated right into that, that replay. Physio terrorist. And keeping the arm and shoulder in. So using the shoulder, hitting with that, what I call a green area, that area that's uh, legal to hit with, legal contact, keeping the arm in. And we've got a timeout Italy. So let's go to a commercial break. Timeout taken by Italy as they continue to talk. So Grasso for Italy has 100% uh, lead percentage and has not had a penalty yet. 
That is very impressive, particularly in this game. I think statistically we start, let's look for the players that haven't had penalties. Coming on the track, Team Chile now fielding Capitan Casaritas for the first time on the track up against Grasso. And again, there's, we, there may be some jammers in, their, in that lineup that are uh, getting into penalty trouble. And Grasso's out there. Let's see if he can maintain that 100% uh, lead jam percentage. Both teams down one blocker in the penalty box to start. Strong on his skates, Grasso leaning into that pack. Both rugby scrums going down the track right now at toe stops. He's out. He did it again. There he is, able to squeeze by on that inside line, picking up Pete Jammer status for Team Italy. We hear a penalty whistle assessed to an Italian skater headed to that penalty box. Does not phase Grosso, however. He passes, flies by Kiltro for a five point Grand Slam for Team Italy. Capitan headed to the penalty box for Team Chile on a high block call. Which means we've got a roller derby athletics power jam. And Grasso is exactly the jammer that Italy wants out there right now. He's jammed clean the entire game, lead every time. And again, like I said, he's, his style is just very grind and churn his way up the track. Come around for another roll. Italy stretching the pack out in the back there, trying to keep uh, Chile still and, and right near the jam pivot line right now. Grasso's in again, a little bit of offense pops in. Oh, just steps out. Good track awareness as the skater behind him fell. Might be a penalty here to Grasso. Grasso also able to pick up over half of the points that Team Italy has scored here so far in this game. He is oh. definitely their jammer MVP, I believe. And just as I say that, I ruin it for everyone. You know as soon as I pointed out a jammer that got no penalties last game, they got a penalty. But it's not because of us. <laughs> it's nothing to do with us whatsoever. But it has to do with what's happening on the track here with Italy and Chile. 58 Italy, Chile 19. This jam's running down another jammer penalty. Oh. The jammer penalties are beating both teams up here. Italy's just managed to, I think Grasso's really put all those points on, or this would probably be about a 10 point or eight point lead. Team Chile picking away at the points about two to three points at a time with three minutes here remaining. Team Italy still nice 12 point jam there from Grasso, putting us at 60 to 22. Yeah, when you look at uh, Chile and Mexico, uh, Argentina, there's some very, very strong teams in that. South American region, for lack of better words, the South Americas that are um, showing up here, like Mexico has really surprised a lot of people in this tournament. Chile is playing a really much more strategic game than the last time they were, uh, I've seen them play. And I've seen some of these teams play over the years. They've it, it, it rapidly gets into these leagues and teams very quickly when they pick up on this stuff. You are correct, Mac, through the pack first is Grosso it's again Grosso. for Italy. <laughs> Star pass for Team Chile. It looks like Insane has picked up that star cover. We do. to the inside, has to recycle behind Italy. Yeah, and as a coach, I'm not a big fan of the here you take it, I don't want it anymore star pass at the back of the pack. I like the strategic ones in the pack, mm -hmm. over the wall, run your pivot out. Because now Insane's got to go through that same battle. And granted, if your jammer's gassed, then you got to take those, uh, you got to pull the, the ripcord and take those types of passes. Insane now able to take a nice hit there on turn one. Picking up the pace as he approaches the pack, forcing the call off from Italy. Grasso looking a little gassoed <laughs> as he comes back to the bench, hands on knees. I mean, he skated miles and put all the points on the board. You have to wonder too, Mac, how much our location geographically has to oh. do with the skaters and their endurance. And like you said, coming from some of these more sea level places, I'm not sure what the elevation is here in it's, Calgary, but I'm sure it, it makes a difference. Yeah, it's, it's Denver-ish. Anyone out there can now text me that I'm wrong, but I know we're on the other side of the Rockies. So, uh, and I've traveled out here often. I don't notice it as much just because of my travel, but I definitely see some players getting fatigued quickly. And how's that going to spell out for full games when we get right. into full games? That's really going to have some attrition on these benches. 
Now on the jam line, we've got Colella for Team Italy. Is that Mechanico? Goofy. Ah. Uh, it's goofy number 89. Now for Chile. That's Goofy, number 89 out there. As we wind down the last 40 seconds of this game, Italy, Italy's going to command and hang on. They really just got to have a nice clean up, clean skate out, run the clock down. There's not even a, a need for Goofy to race around. Uh, Mechanico going to the penalty box. Another power jam for Italy. It's a good time to place. I guess they want, and points matter, so they want to get some points on the board for that differential of ranking and seeding after this. So you got to go after your points, but you also want to play a low risk right now. Keep it on the track, finish off the jam. And it looks like Team Italy is going to want to take those 30 seconds to their advantage and take those points. And just as I said that, they call off the jam. Oh, they, they got to be happy. A team Italy has got to be ecstatic. Some of these teams are coming in, never been in this type of playing situation before. And they don't even know where they rank or how they show up against other teams. It's exciting to see how, like, look at, look at them. They're ecstatic on the bench there. I think we can very safely say men's roller derby World Cup has evolved incredibly since the last time. Oh. Occurred. Yeah. A lot of these teams have really stepped up their game. I think being able to compete with such fierce competition at the last Roller Derby World Cup has really strengthened everyone's game here so far today. So we had 16 jams in 30 minutes. We had 15 power jams. Excellent. <laughs> nine, nine jammer penalties to Chile, six to Italy. We had just as many power jams as we had jams. Yet the total score, the total combined score is 100 points. So it does speak to a lot of good blocking, uh, pack control. There's some a lot of strategy in playing. You saw it here today with these two teams. And it's great to see competitors like this after. They're both as excited for each other. Chile and Italy. When is Chile and Italy ever going to play in roller derby? I know where. Right. Here. Here. And if you're not here <laughs> and you're in Calgary, you should be down here. Right. And if you want to watch some more of Team Italy, they will be back later tonight playing against Team Argentina. And coming up next on this track, we have England versus Argentina. So it's going to be a face-off to see who plays better okay. against Argentina in this next upcoming game. And just some stats to throw along your way. Uh, Grasso, number zero for Italy, scored 62 of Italy's 78 points. So there's the jammer that had no penalties, got lead every time, basically single-handedly put enough points on the board to take the win for Italy. And uh, equally so, having a great game, <laughs> I knew it would be him, Man Felipe, Man Felipe had 13 of 22 points, scoring a high, high percentage of their points as well too. Two outstanding jammers we saw on the track today, and we're going to get to see some more of them as well, because these teams still have lots of games to play. That's right, we will be here all week long. I don't even know what day it is, I'm having so much fun. It could be Saturday, I don't even know, but here we are. And we'll be here until they shut the lights off. That's so right. We hope that you are able to join us for some more games. Mac, it has been a pleasure. Thank you, Reject. Thank you, Pink. Awesome job. <laughs> Pink, say hi. Good job. Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mac and Reject saying bye-bye from for now. We'll see you back at four o'clock. Team England versus Argentina. I'm not going to lie.